Hey guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty, and today I'm here to share with you this super easy St. Patrick's Day gradient nail design. And of course, I had to throw in a little clover as an extra, but of course, you don't have to do any of that. But if you guys are interested in how I achieved this green gradient, please keep watching. To begin, apply a base coat. Once that's dry, apply the first coat of a light green nail polish. After that has dried, apply a second coat, maybe even a third depending on the opacity of your nail polish. Next, take a triangle makeup sponge and cut it in half. This will give you two usable sides, one for each hand. Now we're going to start our gradient. Taking your darkest green polish, apply it to the top of the sponge. Then take your light green, the same color as your nail, and apply it just underneath the dark green. Next, apply a white polish to finish off the gradient. Align the sponge to your nail bed and roll it onto the bed. Start dabbing the color to blend the three together to create your gradient effect. As you can see, the gradient is really mild, so we want to repeat this again for the same nail, starting with your dark green, your light green, and your white. Repeat this process, roll it onto the nail bed, and continue dabbing until blended. Repeat this multiple times. In this case, I do it three to four times for each nail to get the desired gradient. Depending upon your nail polish, continue repeating this process until you achieve the gradient that you are looking for. Repeat this process for the rest of your nails. Now it's time for cleanup. Taking a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover, start cleaning around the cuticles. In this case, we've got a lot, and I've got a weird angle to clean from. So this is gonna take me a little bit of time. So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit during this process so that you don't have to watch me clean the entire thing. For better accuracy for cleaning, you can actually use an art brush. Here I'm using an art brush from Michaels, dipped in nail polish remover, and I'm going around the cuticle and really cleaning around the edges and the areas that I could not reach with my Q-tip. Next, I'm gonna finish off this look by adding a clover. This is of course optional, but I thought it would be a nice gesture for St. Patrick's Day. Here I've taken some nail polish on a piece of tape, and I'm dipping my dotting tool into the excess polish. Using my dotting tool, I'm creating two small dots and connecting them to form a heart shape. I'm going to create three of these hearts adjacent to each other. Here I'm using a large dotting tool, but this is also equivalent to a bobby pin. So if you have a bobby pin, you can do this as well. You don't have to have nice dotting tools. To finish off the tail, I'm flipping over my dotting tool and using the smaller end, which you can also do with a toothpick. For the clover, that was actually my ring finger and not my index finger. I'm actually only applying the clover to my thumb and my ring finger as accent nails. Of course, you can do this for all five nails, zero nails, or in my case, I did two, or you can even just do it on one. And of course, as you can see, I'm doing the exact same thing I did before, and I'm creating small heart shapes and combining them to create the clover. In this case, I'm making larger dots because I am on my thumb, but I am using the exact same dotting tool. To finish this off, apply a top coat. And for your accent nails, make sure your clover is completely dry before you apply your top coat, otherwise you might cause some streaking. 
So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys try it out. And if you do, please make sure to share your pics with me on Facebook or Twitter and even on Instagram. If you guys have any recommendations, suggestions, please let me know down below. And of course, check out my blog to see what products I used for this look. Thank you guys for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains.